All right, guys, we're back with the doctor from Madeline Wake, part six. Let's go. Again, this is my first playthrough, so if you see me exploring more than I should, just know my first playthrough and I want to explore like this. Have you seen these guys? No, I haven't. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your no. On the desk. The battery was dead. It's charging. Nope. Nope. Goodbye. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. Where am I? Come back later on to remind you, just in case. Where am I? Help. Mr. Wade. Help. The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. No, Sean kidnapped me. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. No, I don't want to. Exactly why. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. Oh. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Yes, I understand, lady. <laughs> Can I just hop out Your the window? Phone, Mr. Wake? Yeah, I guess you I'll take it. you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Mr. Wade, can I help Midnight. you with anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Mr. Wake, hey, you can get there. Hey, can you corner. turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't you're let drunk. anybody tell you different. Yeah, I'm going. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Hold on, what, what do they got on the radio? Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thorne had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the show. What party? Huh? There's a party? Alright, let's go. Guess we can't go that way. Oh, there's the old clunker. Anything over here? The caller nope. had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Okay, where's the hole? There we go. Kick it. Kick it real good. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. What? The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. 
Barry, listen to me. Alice was kidnapped. The sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh, why can't I pull the switch? Come on. <clears throat> Climb over. Dang. How hard was that? Here we go. Guy. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothing. What? The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Yeah, I'm gonna save her. Marvelous, Barry. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recently regrettable little outing. Come on, wake up. Accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has. Who are you? Tor and Odin never caused any. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about. Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are oh. very nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Barry. Nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. What you do with my wife? Get me out of here. He got my wife. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. They should have. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. Yo. He believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing... Yo. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Max Payne. Swing it, everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importportantly, a fan. Oh, I can't jump up here she with the mammoth. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. That ain't creepy or anything. Hey, I gotta use the bathroom. Me and sir now, person what thing. You were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Uh Barry, could be. I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that. Do you understand what it sounds like? I'll beat you. Don't get me wrong. Come on, Barry. Good story. Could be a bestseller. Want some coffee? When you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the fun Wait here. Boy. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. 
Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. He, he signed it with no thing. pen. Listen, you what? hit your head. Wait here. Shut up, Barry. Fucking jerk. No, I have him my side. This is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Alrighty. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear yeah. that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Can I, like, punch you him? You make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean... Oh, uh, forget you, Barry. Okay, maybe something weird. I'm done talking to you, Barry. You're supposed to be my friend. We should go to the sheriff. Here we go. The FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, uh, Barry. <coughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. If you're my best friend, then I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Achoo! Just be careful with the natives, Al. Yokels are dangerous. Everybody the hates yokels. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. Deliverance. Oh, Barry's not gonna make it through the night. Two more batteries. Oh, I'm back to nine batteries. I had twenty. Now I'm at nine. What the heck? Oh, that's no fun. Barry didn't say anything. Alright, where are we headed? You know what, actually. Let's end the video here. I'm gonna go lift some weights. Then come back and record. Alright guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe.